Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing a little spray paint with me. I apologize if I sound kind of stuffy. I do feel a bit under the weather. So the last time I was able to spray paint was prior to my injury and that was mainly because like we didn't have a table for our backyard just yet. So I was always like on my knees and on the ground. Here for this first piece, I was just kind of playing around. I didn't really have any particular like plan in mind. I was inspired by this one piece I will put in the description as well. I'll also put my Instagram in the description so you can see some of the other paintings that I've done. Um, but the piece that I was inspired by had like some cloud stencils and the last time I used stencils was, well the first time I used stencils was with my Goku and Vegeta piece that I did many months ago. So basically I'm just taking some poster board and trying to make like some fluffy cloud stencil. The original piece I was inspired by that I really just wanted to practice with had, it was mostly like water. It had like heavy blues and it had some like water reflection in the bottom with the clouds but um, you'll see that it ended up turning into something quite a bit different. So here I'm just going in with the cloud stencil, kind of switching it up, just playing around. I really got addicted to using it. It just was so fun. Um, and then what I quickly forgot was that the paint would kind of sit on the stencil. So there's definitely a couple areas where there's some globs of paint that I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to fix this. Or you can just see it in the final result, but that's okay. That's why we practice. So then right about here I grabbed my Goku stencil and I thought it would be cool to have him like glowing blue with the clouds like within him. So I've just grabbed my Goku stencil and I remembered that I really need to find some like tiny rocks because where his hair is it kind of can sometimes lift. So. So I am definitely a sucker for adding in streaks um, and like kind of clouds of color within the space so that it's not just black with some white stars. And then of course my favorite part, creating the stars. At the time I didn't realize that we had gloves in the house. I thought that they were all used up and when I my husband got home he was like, why is your hands covered in paint? We have gloves. So here I'm just adding the glowing blue outline for Goku. And then you can see there's some areas where the paint didn't necessarily dry. I'm really scared to do the lighter trick where you like spray with the lighter to make the layers dry faster. So then here I'm just fixing up his hair because I tried to fix up the clouds. <laughs> So then for the second piece I did, I was inspired by the elements. I just wanted to have each planet representing an element. And I realized that I really need to head to my thrift store and find some like pot or pan lids because the three planets are, I'm realizing now, are the same size and I want some like larger ones. So for the earth, which is like the green planet, um, I just wanted to add some more black and some streaks instead of having it look like the traditional kind of like rough 
rocky planet. I, in my mind, I wanted it to look more like grass. Um, so then here for air, I didn't really want to use a lot of colors. I just stuck with that metallic silver, which I love incorporating metallic colors into my spray paints. Um, and then some very light blue. Then for this middle piece here, this was going to be the water element, so I just went in pretty heavy with the, the basic blue color. For the final planet, which was fire, I ended up going in with quite a lot of the red and pink and orange and yellow and when I lit, put the paper down um, I wanted it to kind of look like a flame so I put it down and I pulled up from the bottom left and bottom right edges like towards the middle so that way it kind of looked like it was congregating towards the top. So here we go again with the blue and yellow and pink streaks. I realized I wanted a few of them to have some white light behind them. So here's the reveal, the Goku and the elements. I hope you enjoyed wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye.